Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all good. As you can see by the title today, I've got for you a misguided haul. Very excited about this, I'm not going to lie, I've got some right little gems in here. The lovely team at Misguided kindly gifted me some of these items and some of the other items I actually bought on Black Friday. I've got some right bargs, let me tell you that. But anyway, shut up Hannah, stop rambling. Let's get on with it. The first item that I picked up, I mentioned on my Instagram story a while ago, because when this arrived, I really wasn't sure about it. So it's this black velvet blazer dress. When it arrived, I absolutely loved the design of it. I love the way it looks, but I wasn't sure about the fit. And I just wasn't sure about it on me. So I posted it on my Instagram story saying, should I keep it? Should I send it back? And so many of you guys said I should keep it and asked me where it's from. So she has made it through the semi-finals. She's staying with me. I love this. So this is what the blazer dress looks like. On. I do really like it now. When I first tried it on, I was a little bit unsure, but the more I wear it, and after you guys saying you liked it, I've definitely warmed to it. I love that it's like velvet. I think that makes it feel so much nicer. The next item that I picked up is the complete different end of the spectrum, but I absolutely love this. So, it is this kind of Christmas jumper, kind of not. It's kind of like subtle Christmas. It says, three wise men, be serious. I'm gonna wear it so much this December. Three wise men, do they exist? Show me. So this is the little slogan sweatshirt on. I absolutely love it. First of all, the sleeves are really long and it's like fleecy on the inside, so it's really nice and warm, like practical and cute. You know me, I love a little slogan sweatshirt. Okay, I think this is possibly my favorite item in this haul. Look at the color of this jacket. Oh my God, I'm actually so in love with this. This is a faux fur aviator jacket, but the majority of it is fur and then the back of it looks like that. Oh my God, I just love it so much. It's such an unusual color. And I think with an all black outfit, this is really gonna add something to it. I got this in a size 10 because I'm probably gonna wanna wear big jumpers underneath it. So I got it a little bit oversized. Unsurprisingly, absolutely love it. I love the back of it as well. I think that is super cute. I just think with a big scarf, Maybe some little Chelsea boots even. You could definitely go down the trainer route if you prefer, but I think with some black Chelsea boots it would like kind of dress this jacket up a little bit. Next up I picked up a couple of jumpers. So the first one is another burgundy jumper. I know I've got a lot, but this one's a little bit different. Okay, hear me out. So this one is like an off the shoulder jumper. Usually I find that jumpers that sit off the shoulder either go too far or like they just look a bit odd, but this is literally the perfect off the shoulder jumper. I have found the one. I tried this on with a specific black bra I have, which has like scalloped straps and it looks so nice with that. It's like the right amount of crop. It's got nice long sleeves. Leaves. So this is what the jumper looks like on. I just love how casual it is. I feel like I've said that so many times, but it's not one of those jumpers that's difficult to wear off the shoulder. You just kind of put it on and forget about it. You could wear this literally like how I am now with Chelsea boots and a jacket and wear it out. Or you could just wear it with like joggers and stay at home and be comfy and cozy. I'm proper loving an aviator jacket right now, if you can't tell. I love the colors of this. So this is like an olive green. And obviously it's got like the gray, Sherpa sort of lining. It's quite long. It's got buckles around the bottom. I just really loved the colours of this. That was the main thing that drew me to this. This doesn't feel as nice a quality as the other green jacket. However, this one is a bit thinner, so this would be great for like when it's starting to get a little bit warmer, maybe in like January, February time. This is definitely one of my new favourite jackets. I just think the colours of it are so good together and I like it with a black outfit. I think it looks really nice. It adds something a little bit different. If the other green jacket was a little bit scary for you, this one is a really nice alternative because it's a little bit of a more muted green it still feels nice quality the sleeves are nice and long i'm a sucker for a good jacket i really am speaking of which we have another jacket up next this one do you know what? I love it. I just saw it as like a rust colour, a nice bronze. Then when it arrived, I tried it on and my mum went, you look like an orangutan. And that's kind of put me off it a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I didn't even think of it like that. I'm going to be walking around Chelsea where people think I've escaped from the zoo. I got this one in a size 8. I feel like this is a little bit more formal. I would probably wear this if I was going out for a nice meal. It is a really nice jacket. I just wish my mum hadn't said I look like an orangutan. Here she comes, Olivia the orangutan. No, but for real, I really like this jacket. I really do. We've gone for a classic outfit here, ladies. We've got a plain black bandeau, plain black flared trousers. And I think my orangutan jacket adds something to it. So I don't mind looking like an orangutan. I've got the arms for it. My arms are well long. Okay, this next thing. I think I must have seen this on the model on the website and thought that looks amazing. Because now that it's here, I'm not really sure this is very me. If I can find a picture of it on the model, I'll insert it here because I'm pretty sure that's why I got this. But to be honest, I'm not 
loving the colours in it. It's a bit Harry Styles, isn't it? I think just the fact that it's arrived like top button done up, looking like one of my dad's questionable shirts is what's throwing me off. I'm sure if I style this right, I mean I'll try and make it work. Hmm, questionable choice, Han. Guys, I'm so undecided about this one. When I first put it on, I thought, no way. Then I like styled it a little bit. And now I don't mind it. Can you guys help me with this one? Let me know in the comments down below. Do I keep the shirt or do I send the shirt back? Because I am literally 50-50 right now. Oh, this is cute. Christ, there's lots of components. This is quite different for me. So here we have this little denim pinafore. As you can see, it's got like the contrast stitching around it. I love that. I love the design of it. I love this little chain detail as well on the front. Imagine this in the summer as well with like just a little black bandeau. I don't know how this outfit is going to look on camera. I think it's going to be one of those that doesn't look as good in pictures as it does in person. But I really, really like it. It's kind of like not that flattering. I'm glad I got the size 8 because I was going to get the 10. I really like this little chain, but if you don't like that, you can take it off. It's just like clipped onto the zip and clipped onto the strap up here. I don't know what else there is to really say about this. The jumper is from, I believe it's from Lasula. It looks really like cash. I feel like a bit of a painter, you know. Get me roller out, whack a wallpaper up. Okay, this colour is very brave for me. So this is a little pink frill bandeau jumpsuit. So it's wide leg, it's quite formal. I've got other jumpsuits like this. I think I've got a navy one and like a burgundy one. I thought I'd give this colour a try because I did think when I've got a fresh layer of fake tan on, this could look really nice. I think I could try and make it work. I mean, in the try on section, I haven't got fresh tan, so it's not gonna look the best, but just imagine it with a fresh glow. Okay guys, this is the jumpsuit on. I actually really like the color of it and I haven't got nude underwear on. And I mean, I don't think you can really see it. Maybe you can because I've got the studio light on actually, if you can, awkward, sorry about that. But yeah, it fits me really well, it's nice and comfortable. It feels nice quality, it's quite a thick material, it's not like really thin. It's cute, what more can I say? And then the final item of this haul, sweet hallelujah, we got there in the end, is another jacket. This one is another firm fave. It's kind of like the orangutan, it's the same sort of like, not furry, but not like completely shaggy. Kind of an in-between, it's that same kind of material. However, this one, has a hood. This one is a lot more casual, I feel. I think if you wore this with like a black high neck top, some casual black ripped jeans, some little black trainers, do you know what I mean? I think it would look really nice. So that's how I plan on wearing this one. I also got this in a size eight. So I'd always have the hood down. Even if it was raining, I'd sacrifice me barnet. I live for a good jacket and this is a good one. First of all, I wouldn't wear this jacket with this sweatshirt. I'd wear it with more of like a tight fitted black top just because the jacket is quite like oversized. I thought I could get away with wearing it with like a black jumper, but I actually would definitely go for like a tight fitted a little bit more formal because like I feel a little bit bougie in this I'm not gonna lie I wasn't expecting it but I am feeling a little bit glam I definitely try and keep it casual though it's not like a going out type jacket and it's really warm like unsuspectingly warm always a bonus my friends but anyway my loves that brings us to the end of this video I hope you enjoyed watching it and seeing what absolute gems I picked up from Misguided thank you again to the team at Misguided for gifting me some of these items I am very grateful for it I appreciate it a lot make sure you subscribe to see my future videos and hit the little bell so that you can be notified when I upload a video but for now thanks for watching and I'll see you again in my next video bye